Oh, this is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, this is Jason with Denworks. Pretty excited about this. It's a uh, 1930 Willys Whippet 6. You don't see these very often. It's, it is a deluxe model and a uh, really, really neat car. And, you know, it looks a lot like a Model A of the same period, but honestly, I'd kind of prefer this. It's got a six cylinder in it and, uh, you know, it's pretty classy. And it's a car that you don't see very often, but we'll just walk around it here a little bit and uh, I'll just point out different things and uh, just show you the condition of it in general right here on the on the radiator shell you can see here it says willie's overland whip it six you can see it right there and uh it's got 29 plates on it but it is a 1930. i love the the headlights you know very very big headlights and uh they're actually in really good shape you can see here twilight they are matching and uh, you know original grill you know radiator there with the honeycomb and it looks like it's in a pretty good shape I love the bumpers on this car you can see the whip it right there and uh, you know definitely a thing ahead of its time too because you can see it has the uh, you know uh, impact type bumpers and uh, this is also a neat piece too. You can see these rubber flow Watson stabilizers and uh, they have little retraction uh, reels. And uh, so we'll just walk down here. You can see original wheels. Tires are in good shape. They're uh, Firestone gum, gum dipped 4.75 by 5 by uh, 18s. Fenders look nice. You'll see definitely some uh, paint flaws and, you know, the car is real original. I don't think this car has really ever been a part, and, uh, but I think it's probably been repainted uh, probably just once. And, uh, but overall, it's not rusty, very, very clean, and uh, definitely the interior is very original. But you'll see some imperfections in the paint right here. I love the uh, sun visor, you know, just the decoration there. And, uh, but we'll go ahead and look at the bottom of the cowl. Looks really nice. You can see a little, like something got dripped there. We'll lift open the hood in a little bit. You can see some little chipping and stuff right there. But, you know, the fenders are steel, look good. Running boards look good. Splash aprons look real nice. Bottom of the doors look clean. But again, you'll see little scratches and little scrapes. You know, just little different, different things about the paint in general. And uh, if you look here, the doors line up really nice, and uh, they shut. They shut good. You can see here it's got a suicide door on the back. Go ahead in here and look at the the rear fenders. You know, very straight and uh, look nice, but you'll see little imperfections in the paint. And uh, you know, it's just kind of nice to see a car like this that's survived. You know, the top here, they actually uh, put a kind of a rhino liner on it to uh, seal it. And actually, they, I think they did a pretty nice nice job and it looks looks good overall. And uh, you'd have to kind of point it out to someone that that was done, but uh, for sure that was done. You can see here, it's got tail light, plate, again, the side, the impact bumpers. And uh, I just love the design that Willys did on those bumpers. I mean, those are awesome. And uh, here you can see the original VIN tag on it, and it does match the title. Here's your gas tank in the back, and the fuel gauge does work. And uh, this here would have been for a luggage rack. Go ahead. And, uh, you know, again, no rust back here. I mean, it looks really clean. And uh, But again, you'll see imperfections on the paint. You know, the paint, I guess, is probably, oh, I'd say it's probably 40 years old. I mean, it's old. And uh, I love the way it looks, actually. You can see here, fenders look nice, a little chipping and stuff, but this is really cool. Definitely an old, old sticker there. 
you know, door handles and everything look in good condition. We'll look here at the bottom of the doors and just some paint imperfections just from being old. But you know, again, you look at the, the panel gaps, you know, very good. You know, you look across the top here and uh, very clean for a car of this age. And this is one of my favorite things. This sticker here, vintage sticker, Wisconsin, 1943. You can see on the inside, it's called Motor Vehicle Department, and uh, that's definitely really, really neat. And uh, windshield looks good. Missing its wiper up there. You can see it doesn't have a wiper, and uh, looks nice. We'll look at the spare. You know, it's got its factory mount. see the fender looks in good shape you know I think overall you know the body is in uh, really nice condition I mean it's a it's a nice car it's a car you don't see very often so we'll take a look at some other things here I just wanted to show you the lights uh, working you can see here the marker lights you can see it there on the on the side no blinkers on this car you can see the the headlights work kind of hard to to see here because it's sunny out you can see they're working in there and that's got a little fog lamp lamp down here on the bottom you know again pretty cool we'll go ahead and take a look at the interior here you know again the interior is actually in really nice condition overall i mean you're going to see some wear and uh in general i'm going to show you the windows rolling up here in a minute but you can see the seat separated here a little bit they could probably have that uh, repaired and uh, I'll show you the window on that side working you know it's pretty smooth we'll show you the back one it works these are actually really neat back here pull that little uh, that little blind you know very original and uh, does it stay down yeah, yep. And let it go back up. There we go. Yeah, we've got to make it go a little straighter, but it's got those all the way around the inside. And uh, pretty, pretty neat. You know, seat looks good. The floor mat here, you can see, has a little rip in a couple different spots. But up underneath the dash, looks in good, uh, good condition. Go across here and look at the, the gauges. You know, it's not like a new car. And uh, this here controls, see it says finger uh, tip control. That controls the headlights and stuff. The starter, you pull that and it does the starter and it does the horn. You can see here, it's got the wiper me mechanism up here, but it doesn't have a wiper on the outside. And uh, you can see the rear view mirror. You can see the headliner. It's in fairly good shape. You know, very original, I believe. And uh, we'll look here at the jams. You know, very clean. And uh, they look nice. You know, these look original here. You see? That's original material. And uh, we'll go ahead in the back seat here. You'll see maybe where a little moth and stuff has got to the seat back here. But again, it's actually very comfortable to sit in. And uh, you can see here the wood. You know, a lot of this was wood framed back here. Very good condition. Look here in the back of the seat. You can see it's worn up here on the top. And uh, again, we'll look at the jam. You know, again, and in great condition you see these little little stops are original and uh, really pretty neat I like the decor here the decoration on the uh, little handles and stuff you know I haven't tried this and I just realized with the turn handle you can roll down that window I don't know if it goes all the way down, that might. And uh, we'll do the other one on the other side. 
Yeah, these little windows uh, roll down, but they only come down to here. I was testing it just a minute on the other side. Probably needs a little bit of greasing. So that's actually nice for a little ventilation. You know, safety windows like on the new cars, you know, uh, have today. But we'll go ahead and uh, look at the back seat here on this side. You know, again, you can see just wear. And uh, you can see the original wood in here. But all the framing and stuff looks really good on the car. And uh, actually really impressive for the age. I like a really original cars, uh, personally and uh, nice survivor cars and this is what this is not overly restored or anything like that and uh, you know it's just been cared for through all these years and uh, you can see here the door panel you know again looks really good you can see the material down there on the bottom you can see a willie's overland badge right there but uh again looks nice i love this sticker i showed you earlier and uh very neat Go ahead and uh, we'll take a look underneath the hood. You know, again, it uh, actually looks pretty good. You can see here it's a six cylinder, you know, factory six. And uh, looks in nice shape. You can see the fuel bowl there, carburetor, it's got a carter on it. And, uh, you know, it actually fires up real nice. Go ahead and start it up. You know, it actually runs really smooth. What's kind of neat about it is the starting mechanism is uh, kind of interesting. I'll just show you this real fast when you start it. You know, here you have a key, but you actually pull out. This is for the headlights, but you pull out on that and uh, that controls the, the starter. But Go ahead and rev it up just a little bit. You know, it actually runs pretty nice. And uh, we'll go on the other side and uh, pop the other side open so you can take a look. Okay, here we are on the uh, passenger side. Just wanted to take a look here. Again, it uh, looks nice on this side. Go ahead and let it uh, start up just a little bit. I mean, uh, yeah. You got the horn. You know, it works. This here looks like something, uh, there was a heater that ran back through there. And uh, just a little port. You can see the starter. It's an auto light. Auto light distributor. And, uh, but again, I mean, it's pretty sound underneath and uh, it does drive. It drives good, we'll show you driving with you. Hey, here we are. We're going to take a look underneath the willies. You know, I do a lot of uh, videos on the outside of the cars and interiors, but I like doing videos underneath too so you can see, you know, different things. I can talk about different things in, in general. So we'll just uh, walk around it real fast here and, and uh, see the condition of it. It's actually really, really good. And, uh, you know, you look at the frame and stuff, it's very, very solid. You know, not any signs of any rust issues. And, uh, or any weird repairs or anything. I love these Watson stabilizers. You can see the, I'm gonna push up on the wheel. They're uh, retractable, uh, you know, shock, shock absorbers really. And uh, so pretty cool, it's something I haven't uh, seen on a rig uh, before. So really neat. And uh, you can see here, it's got a lot of new Zerk fittings and stuff in it. You know, right here you can kind of see there's it's got a few little drips and stuff on the on the oil pan and uh, just some little seepage. You know, nothing real bad. I've seen a little tiny drip come out of that before. This is funny because it looks like a drip, but it's not. It's actually uh, metal. It's actually one of the the little rivet type studs around there. But you know, overall, I mean, for a pretty original car, 
that hasn't been apart. I mean, it's in an in amazing shape. You can see here the Zerk fittings and stuff. We uh, put grease and everything, and uh, looks really good. We'll go over here, look at this side of the frame. You know, again, very, very solid, and uh, looks good. You know, really amazing shape for 1930. You can see here the battery. You get to that, you know, on the floorboard. We'll look at the transmission. You know, again, you'll see a little seepage and, and stuff here. And uh, you can see here it's got an inline pump. There's a couple filters, one here, one here. Go ahead and we'll look around on this side of the, of the frame. really really in good shape kind of neat here if you look right here between the fender and the uh, and the splash apron here you can see the old uh, material that they used so it's kind of nice to see original stuff there you can see the mufflers in good shape you know the floorboards really really nice and uh, this is just kind of how you want to see an old car and uh, not overly restored, you know, kind of survivor state. You know, floor is real nice. You can see here the running boards, look under underneath. Go ahead and take a look back here. You can see a little bit of seepage here. And I think this is coming out of the just the axle, you know, housing, and uh, very minor. And you can see here, this is kind of neat. You can see the brake. Shoe is on the outside of the drum. Very unique. And, uh, you know, the front ones are enclosed. Take a look at the rear end. You can see a little, little bit of seepage, but you know to be expected. You can see here a little bit of leakage, still going on here, and uh, actually I was looking at the brake system here. All this here, you can see how the brake pulls back. It's just uh, something new to me. That's what's kind of fun about uh, getting, you know, kind of car that you don't see very often. Look back here, you can see the bottom of the gas tank. You know, very nice. And, uh, you know, the car is really in, an, in amazing condition, especially because it's not rusty. And, uh, you know, someone took care for this car. I think it's been inside for many, many years. And, uh, you know, it looks like a real good one. So, anyways, I'm excited about the car. I'm excited that, uh, you know, it's going to be able to find a new home. If you got any questions, you can email me. Uh, give me a call, 503-910-2085, or you can go to my website, www.denworks.com. It's D-E-N-W-E-R-K-S.com. So anyways, thank you. Have a good day.